hello and very warm welcome to the channel in today's video we are going to learn how to add local notifications to our ios app local notifications are used in certain cases for example in alarm app or the app where you want to get user to get notified after a certain time interval or if user is not interacting with the app then you need to fire the notification for uh, inactivity of three days etc and etc so in this tutorial we learn how to use local notifications in is the current version of xcode we are using is xcode 10.2 so let's start first of all for adding local notifications or push notifications we need to import user notification framework for that first import user notifications and then in app to delegate application did finish launching with the options method we need to get authorization from the user in order to allow our app to fire notifications so for that we said you un user notification center dot current dot request authorization and options we will pass an array of options for example alert dot match comma and dot sound so we need these options to get our user notified during local notifications and then completion handler here is saying granted and here we have error and if granted then we will print that user gave permissions for local notifications so here it is we have written the code for getting authorizations and now let's Create the UI part. So open main dot storyboard and first of all change the background color and here we will drag a button UI button and we will place it into the center of the screen and we will give it a width and height. So width will be 200 and height will be 50 and we will give the background color white and also increase its font set what if or you can say set reminder and now let's create an IB action for it so here add red IB action function set reminder underscore center of type any and open main dot storyboard here we will connect to touch up inside open view controller dot swift and now our main part begins so in order to trigger a local notification first import user notifications because we are using view controller this time and let center is equals to user un user notification center dot current and now we need to create content for our notification so let content is equals to you and mutable notification content content dot title is equals to reminder content dot body is equals to this is a local naughty 
notification and content dot sound is equals to dot default so now our content is ready the next part is to create a trigger for the notification so let trigger is equals to un or un notification trigger and if i get the intelligence app you can see there are different kind of notification trigger ui time interval notification trigger is a trigger condition that causes a notification to be delivered after the specified amount of time lapse and this is ui calendar notification trigger it will trigger on a specific date and time and this is a location trigger okay so we are much interested in ui time interval notification trigger so here we will say you want time interval notification trigger and here we have time interval the time interval will be in seconds so for this example we will use 20 and repeat if we set true then our notification will get repeated after 20 seconds of interval so we will set it false and here we have our trigger with us now let Request we need to create a request is equals to you and user notification you and uh, you and notification request sorry you and notification request and it has identifier so we can set an identifier to our particular notification and here's a reminder and content we created content above and trigger trigger and now notification or you can say center so center dot add request so we will add our request and we have completion handler it's a error and here what we will do if error is not equals to nil means we have error then we will print error is equals to error dot localized description and since this is an optional so we will say error local notification so now let's run the app and test if we are successful in our local notification or not so command r app is building and it's installed so here you can see the pop-up comes that local notification trigger you would like to send you notifications so this is the permission and we allow it you can see here the console gave that user gave permission for local notification now we say set reminder and goes to background now after 20 seconds the local notification will fire up so here you can see a reminder this is a local notification a pop-up come up so here we are done with this tutorial so this is a very small tutorial that tells you how to implement local notification in iOS and for implementing local notification we are using UI time interval notification trigger that will trigger the notification based upon the time elapsed okay in future tutorials or in next tutorial we will learn how to add or you can say how to fire local notification based upon date and how to get notified that when user interact with that notifications Till then, bye-bye and have a nice time. Lastly, if you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up and do share this video. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, then please subscribe to it.